Boy, for everyone asking, I'm 41. Get yo back straight, lol. King of the Rats TV, no way. Bro, I'm like as tall as you. Bro, no wonder you can cast under them trees. Your eye level to the water. Are you really 41? At least 44. I'm 5'3 and I'm 12 years old. <laughs> what the? Guys, I'm not 41. That was obviously a joke. And more importantly, that was a joke about six months ago. I'm actually 5'8 for everybody freaking asking, man. I'm not the tallest boy in the world, but guess what? I'm taller than 4'1", and that's all that matters. Thank you guys so much for the support recently, but more importantly, why I wanted to run right now is the freaking GoPro giveaway. We said that we're gonna run the GoPro giveaway winner like two episodes ago, and I'm gonna be straight up with you. I forgot, totally just blew past my brain, and I was like, man, it's about time for the GoPro giveaway now. We're gonna be picking up a winner. I'm gonna pop the winner's name up on the screen right here. Thank you so much for entering the giveaway. If you guys want, to, or if you want to claim the GoPro, all you have to do, DM me on my personal Instagram account at Noah Pescatelli. I'll get your address and I will ship it out to you and it's easy as that. But you need to get back to me in the next 24 hours. I was gonna do 48, but 24 hours, you gotta DM the account. If you don't DM the account in 24 hours, no GoPro and I'll pick a new winner. So anyways, Oh, another thing, if you did not win the giveaway, bro, do not, don't go make a fake account and try to act like you're another person. Guys, that is just low, man. That is, that is low of low and I can see right through it. So if you do that, it's not the smartest thing. I have it happen like every giveaway, but do not do that. We're going to hop into today's video. I actually ended up catching some good bass. I took a day trip down to Florida, ended up doing a little bit of bank fishing. I was like, yo, let's take you guys along with me and see if we can catch some big bass. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. This one's going to be a banger. Hit that freaking subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Let's go ahead and get it rolling. All right, boys, we just made it out to the first spot that we're gonna hit today. So I'd like to show you guys what I'm throwing. I'm throwing a jerk bait right here. This is a Provoke by Six Sense. Um, and also I got a little swim jig by Six Sense Divine. Swim jig right there. If you guys are wondering, yes, I know I have like no line on this thing. We're gonna make adjustments to that here in a bit. I just, I am kind of on a time crunch right now. But if you guys wanna check out any of Six Sense baits and get a discount, I'll pop my code on the screen. You don't have to, but if you want to, it's there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it started. I think I might chuck a freaking jerk bait man i think these fish i'm in florida today so i think these fish are gonna be there's gonna be a lot that are pushed up on some beds i, I really think but i kind of want to throw this jerk bait because i haven't really thrown one out here and i had it tied on and i was like you know maybe this is a good way to catch a good fish and it's super windy the wind's not pouring in this corner for some reason it was like two seconds ago but it's actually aggressively windy today so i think uh we can get some of those bigger ones roaming around out here on a jerk bait today. I really think that we could snag a few on there chasing some bait. So we're gonna give that a shot and then the swim jig would be great up on the grass, up on the grass line and where those beds are at. Um, but I would like to catch a few on a jerk bait. So we're gonna throw this around a good bit. First cast out there is a giant. It's a giant. Oh my lordy. Holy mother of pearl. Oh my god. It is not that big. I lied. But look at the way he ate that jerk bait. Holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, we just started. See, see, this is why you throw baits that people usually aren't throwing right here. That is a four plus pounder all freaking day. And I actually have my scale with me today, boys. So we're gonna get a weight on this guy. Let's get this jerk bait out, provoke. I cannot believe that. We just started. And I'm fishing behind a guy, by the way. I just met a super kind fan. Um, he's actually walking down there. He already fished this. And I just went behind him first cast with a jerk bait. That's why you throw different stuff right there. The provoke kills it. Let's get a weight on this guy and get him back in the water. It's so windy. Screams jerk bait. That's all good. That's all that, that that's all that matters right there. The heck did I put my scale? I was about to say if I don't have it. I really think this is a four pounder. We could be lying to you, but I, that is a four pounder. What am I saying? Alright, zeroed out right there. Um I thought he was like a six, five, six pounder. He looks so big when I got him up on the bank. Let's weigh this bad boy. Oh you freaking idiot. I hate this scale. Oh 
my god what <laughs> i really don't want to hurt this fish and the scale's really being a butt hole to me i know you guys like the scale <sighs> guys i'm sorry hold on it's gonna weigh negative if it turns on here come on scale yeah this should weigh negative so zero it out when i take it off it's gonna weigh negative oh it said four pounds two ounces and i was going crazy look at that it clocked in at four five that's a negative there i knew that was a four pounder four pounder four and a quarter beautiful freaking bass oh my lordy for the first fish first freaking cast pretty much you're a big girl yeah get back in there oh my gosh the provoke provoke kills it we're just gonna set my scale dude this is going crazy i don't understand turn on oh that's annoying all right let's go first fish today four and a quarter that that is just insane insanity that's why you throw baits that usually people aren't throwing right there now let's catch another bass on this jerk bait boys i have a mic on my gopro so if you guys that, that are like no it's not windy it's actually very windy today boys i apologize for the wind if it's harsh i don't know how loud it is it's freaking whipping though but we got a divine swim bait right here putting this thing on the back of the divine swim jig screw it right on give her a shot get more up in that grass and see if there's some fish bedding all right like i said i don't have much line on this freaking reel i don't have any line on this reel what in the heck am i saying i can't use this Oh, 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 dude, dude, did you guys see that? This is only about two, two and a half, it looked like. He freaking just came up and swamped it. I think there might be a bed there. Dude, that was insane. All right, boys, we're pulling a kick in their Bass TV right now. It's been about an hour since I caught that other fish. I'm putting on a snatch right here by six cents. We're about to just cover water cover and cover and cover water by the way i put a new reel on i just traded my pro ti out that had no line on it with this uh custom black by lose which is a fire reel and i actually forgot i put brand new line on this one i just haven't used it yet so we are literally going to put the snatch on right here cover grass lines throughout in the middle as well to see if there's any roaming bass i'm kind of like how i caught that one with the jerk bait we're literally just going to cover water we're going to walk and cast walk and cast walk and cast and see how many big ones we can put up on the bank um, i don't know if the fishing is going to be good or not i really don't i don't know if we need to slow down or if we need to speed up but all i know is i caught that fish on a jerk bait and that tells me something so and i was working it pretty fast right off bed it's literally right off bed tiny little male oh my gosh you're a small guy got a little reaction i saw a bed right here i don't know how well you guys can see that being right over the top of it sure enough there was a fish i couldn't even see him little guy get back in there jimby jimby it's usually jimmy jimby that's a new name that's money dog come on give me that fish Oh, on bed. Mm. Oh my gosh. See, that's why we need like a swim jig or a swim bait or like a fluke in this given time. Nothing wrong with this bait right here. It could catch some fat fish that haven't pushed up on the bank yet. But that right there, they are firing off on it though. I'm really gonna have to pay attention to these beds because those are the two beds that I threw at and right away, just instantly freaking good bass comes up and just launches it freaking tackled it he looks so big when he first ate it. his mouth opened up but that is close to a three pounder oh my gosh man that's a two and three quarter right there beauty get back in there baby oh man she was right off that huge bed that is what we're talking about so the snatch is getting it done i just think if i had like a swim jig or something to go through this grass a little bit better um I, I really do think we could be catching some just crazy massive fish really quick but um you know we're going to continue to do this i think you know some of the big fat bass that have not pushed up yet 
I think we got a good opportunity of catching them when we're throwing like this, in this wind especially today. Um, that's what's really holding me back from fishing for these bed fish on the bank. It's mainly this wind, and you know, I want to throw a moving bait and see if I can trigger off on a good bite, but that's exactly how you want it right there. Let's keep hunting. We are making a little, literally 180 degree turn, and we're about to do what I think is going to catch them today. There's a ton of beds on this bank. We're at a whole new area. I just saw some fish swim off the bank. We're going to be going a little finesse with a fluke. I think we're going to get the job done. I think we're going to whack a couple good fish with this. I hate these chickens, man. Yeah, chickens, get out of here. Mm. Golly, look at that spawned out fish. Holy cow, that is a skinny bass. Look at that skinny bass. Mm. That was crazy. That fish is skinny. Oh, man, I, I heard something coming up behind me. It was one of these freaking chickens. It was that big chicken looking at me right now. By the way, I know they're not chickens, guys. You, you guys take everything too seriously. Noah likes to joke around a lot. And I feel like sometimes my sense of humor doesn't get around the right way. And I was calling them chickens last time and you guys literally thought I was serious. Guys, I know they're not chickens. They're ducks. Okay? Or some sort, some kind. I, I don't know. What kind are you? Good answer. Alright, let's catch some fish. Gosh! Oh, that's a big one. Oh, the one. Let's go. Oh, he's in the pads. No. Yeah. God, he's not as big as I thought. Why were you fighting so hard? Two pounder. Two and a half pounder. I thought he was a three. Gosh. We were catching him on the edge of those lily pads. He tanked it. So they're bedding in here. This is awesome. So that's exactly what we need to be throwing. Beautiful, beautiful bath. All right, brother. Thank you for biting, bud. Let's go. You guys notice that we're staying off the bank. We're not walking up on these fish. That's very important when you're... I know that I'm probably, or I, it's not even that I'm probably, I actually traveled to go here. I'm not from Florida for everyone who thinks I'm from Florida. I traveled down here. I actually drove all day today just to film this video, matter of fact. So if you could hit that like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. So yeah, you guys really gotta pay attention to how far you're staying off these spots because you can spook a fish in a heartbeat. Gosh, that was awesome. Caught two fish out of this little patch over here, which I usually don't do. That's a good little sign right there. I let it sink right next to the lily pad. Sure enough, just freaking hammered it. Using this Pro TI rod, I can feel just about anything. So on slack line, I just felt him tank that sucker. All right, gotta stay off this. Very important. Giant. That's like a five pounder. Oh, come on. Oh my God, you're such a strong girl. That ain't even that big. Why do they feel that big? Oh, that's a big one. That's almost four. He ain't five. That ain't even, that's three and a half. What am I saying? Don't listen to Noah today. I'm getting way too excited. Where did that fluke go to? Did it fall off in the water? No, I think that was like my last fluke. I have some broken ones though. See how we're playing it smart, guys? Staying off the bank, that is a solid three to three and a half pound fish right there freaking got him good too that sucker was fighting he was not happy about that golly boy i got you good you were not coming off i was worried about you coming off but uh, you were not going anywhere beautiful bass about third fish over here that's about a three and a half pounder right there thank you so much buddy i'm gonna get you right back oh i'm sorry there he goes right back into the depth stay off these spots that's so important you guys saw what i did for all three of those fish finesse approach these fish are pushing up, starting to bed. There's not many locked on, but they're in the general area. So you really gotta be paying attention. Oh, gosh. That was a good cast.
I was about to. Oh my lord. Oh my gosh. I was about to think there wasn't fish in here. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. About took the rod. Look at him. Oh my gosh. That's a four pounder. To start off the video. Holy cow, what a freaking football. Look how these fish are built. I didn't I was about to literally say I was giving this five more minutes and then I was gonna say I don't think there's fish in here. But was I wrong? Oh my god, that fish is literally in a three pound frame pushing four pounds. Why are you barking at me, bro? That is beautiful. So sorry about the geese. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm just get it right back in the water. Of course it turned off. It always does that. It's gonna be negative when I pull it off. Scale's freaking messed up. So zeroed, watch when I pull it off, it's gonna be negative and it's gonna lock. Three pounds, nine ounces. So just above three and a half. Beautiful, beautiful bass. He looked a lot bigger jumping, sun was in my eyes. Oh no, I should have tossed him. He's out. Wow. Now that is why I love fishing right there. Just the excitement, searching for giant bass in new areas today. And that fish about jerked the rod out of my hand. We're gonna try something different. Looks like it has mainly a soft bottom. We're gonna check a big jig out there. Got the hybrid jig by six cents. Let's give it a shot. There's like a little water like generator or something down there. Oh, oh, oh God. That's actually a good one. Holy cow. There's no way. Oh my God. It's a three pounder. Oh my gosh. Easy three right there. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's pushing three. He's probably two and three quarters. That is amazing on the hybrid jig right there. Look how thick and chunky that fish is. It took him a minute to eat it. That is a good, thick, chunky. Look at how they're built out here. Look, he's got a little hole in his in his little top fin right there. Gosh, beautiful fish though. Thank you for biting, buddy. I'm gonna toss him because I can't get down to the water. I want him to be deeper. There he goes. Holy 